For the past couple of months, Tony Meredith and Melanie LaPatton have been juggling a rigorous ballroom dance schedule, Linda. That's because they just completed a new movie, not yet released, titled Shut Up and Dance, where Tony was the assistant choreographer and he and Melanie were the featured dancers alongside Vanessa Williams. Let's meet them both right now. It was a great experience. Great we were assistant choreographers here in New York. Um, we worked with Vanessa. And as far as in the movie goes, we um, were just featured dancers in the competition. And the director, actually, Randa Haynes, would ask us our opinion on what we thought. And she did such a fabulous job. In recreating the Absolutely. She re competition I told her I felt really like I was at a, at a competition. The old adrenaline was going. I mean, even though it was like cut 98, it was, you know, 12 midnight. <laughs> we were there at 5 in the morning. Um, we were tired. She totally recreated the scene. And it was very easy. We felt a actually at home, which is where I feel most comfortable, on the competition floor. My husband is extremely creative. He's the most creative person that I know. He'll get totally inspired. He'll show me a picture in a magazine, and he'll say to me, Mommy, look at this dress. And he'll open the page, and it is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And he'll say, yeah, but can't you see it with just that slit there, a little bit more beads here, turn that around, put this upside down, and of course, I can't see it. He can see the whole thing, and sure enough, he will make that dress for me, and it's fabulous. He just amazes me, his artistic <laughs> sense. Well, I'm surprised. Thank you for giving me the credit. I always give you the credit. I know you always give me the credit. But sometimes After I, start I nag up, about it and say how horrible know, it is, and I, I can't it's, see it, and it's horrible. Yeah. And the same thing is I start drawing, and then I start getting the ideas, and it starts coming together. And she says, now, why don't we do this? <laughs> and why don't we do that? And all of a sudden, it becomes her idea. I mean, it becomes her inspiration. <laughs> and, I was like, and I'm like, I like I've like had that idea good, weeks before. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Well, we've been dancing for 15 years, but we've been married for six and a half. And is it seven? <laughs> but um, you know, we've we've spent these years together, and pretty much it's a 24-hour schedule together. It's not a 24-hour schedule. Seven twenty-four, three sixty-five. That's our that's our that's what we do. <laughs> that's us. Do we always get along? Absolutely not. Do we agree on everything? Absolutely no. not. <laughs> we both have the same common goal but we have absolutely different ways of getting there. But somehow I, I feel like it is sort of, we blend. We blend together and yet we still hold our individual strengths. Down. Dancing for us is, is more than just dancing together. It's, it's something that we do together and that we share together. And I think that we, when we both put our minds towards something, we realize that we can achieve whatever it is that we want. Well, they may have been second to Vanessa Williams, but tonight it's a whole nother ball game. Well, don't go away. We're coming back to find out who our finalists are in just a moment.